Matt Alliance was howling as Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. This is gonna be my movie review for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I was waiting for this movie for a while now, and uh, I think it was early this. No, it wasn't. It wasn't this year. It was late. It was last year that um, for the first time I watched the first three Jurassic Park movies, and I watched the um, first Jurassic World movie. So I was I was ready for this film. And there's not much, I would say this is one of those type of films where there's not really development, at least not too much development within the characters. These type of films is more about the plot. You know, you have these dinosaurs, you have to have a plot for it. The characters are there to, you know, let the story flow, you know kind of the same thing it, with any type of uh monster creature movies you know the creatures are the main focus the characters they're there to drive the story they don't always necessarily get development and you know the plot itself is what makes the movie good so um i don't have any like in this movie i don't have anything to really say about the characters oh and nobody there wasn't any development between the characters because they're not really the main part of this, these films, you know. Um, one thing I will say, it was cool seeing Malcolm show up at the beginning and the end. Um, I love Jeff's character, and I loved him in the previous Jurassic Park movies, so it was cool to see him. Um, uh, yeah, there's nothing really just... I mean, um, I will talk about this character... I don't remember his name. Like I said, the characters are kind of secondary in these type of films. Um, but the kid, basically the, the scared kid. There's always a scared kid in these type of films. At least the majority of the time. Okay, you guys know who I'm talking about. The dude with the glasses. Um, I will say I'm going to talk about him because I feel he worked. What I mean by he worked is a lot of the... Some of the times when you have the scared kid or the scared dude within one of these type of movies, some of the time it doesn't work. The character just comes off as annoying, flat, you know. But this time, with this character, I enjoy seeing him on screen. Um, you know, certain things he did uh, was funny whenever he would get scared of the dinosaurs that keep saying, like, where's the T-Rex? Where's the T-Rex? Um, so, I feel in, like, uh, Anything he did that was funny, it got lots of laughs from the theater, so, including myself. So, I feel that this is one of the cases where, you know, the dude, the person who's always scared, he actually worked in this film. Uh, the girl, I'll talk about her later because I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of iffy about something that she did at the end. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm going to talk about the plot. The plot... I feel it for is being the fifth movie, or you could call it the second movie, but within this whole entire Jurassic franchise, it is the fifth movie since there is, you know, threads of continuity from the previous Jurassic Park films. Um, so as far as the plot goes for it being a fifth film, I think it had a pretty uh, good, you know, well thought out, strong plot for it to be this far. You know, sometimes when... Uh, movies or franchises that get to a certain movie, you know, the uh, you really have to think of, well, what's the next thing? What's the next narrative drive for the next film we could do, you know? So, um, I thought the plot was pretty well, um, pretty well thought out and pretty well written, you know, uh, this new Jurassic World where the Jurassic World was, you know, this volcano is going to explode. So, is the decision of do we save these dinosaurs like we would try and save most other wildlife or do we just let them perish you know since they could they could pretty much decimate us um so it was the decision of whether or not to save them and uh basically like i said i barely remember the names because the characters are kind of secondary um but the the antagonist I'll say that. There was no villain, but the antagonist, um, 
the dude who told the girl that he'll put the dinosaurs on like a safe sanctuary that they made, which wasn't actually the plan. The plan was actually to mill 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 mill. I'm not gonna be able to say it. Weaponize, basically weaponize the different species of dinosaurs um, for different areas of combat. Yeah. Um, so all that put into a new plot, I thought that was a pretty good, well-written, uh, well-thought-out plot for a fifth film. Um, what was I going to say after the... I thought it was paced well. You know, I don't feel there was any slow moments. And um, speaking of um, slow or fast moments or just pacing of the film, again, for... A fit, well, for the Jurassic World films, I guess I'll say for the second film, because I'm going to be talking about those two specifically, this kind of new Jurassic World franchise. Um, but yeah, the first one, I enjoyed the first one a lot. It was well paced the whole way through for me. And the second one, I think it did a good job at continuing, you know, the pacing. Like, the second Jurassic World film held up really well to the first film. And, like, what I kind of mean by that is the first Jurassic World film, um, you know, lots of people liked it and stuff. The second one, I don't feel like it was duller or, or slower, too much slower or anything. I, I feel that the second one held up very well to the first Jurassic World film, at least for me. And there was no, it was very well paced the whole way through. Now, I did enjoy the first Jurassic World film better than the second one. Um, When I left the, well, when the movie had just ended for the second one, I was like, wow, this was on par with the first one. And then after I let it soak in, I was like, well, thinking about things that happened in the first one, then the second one, I did, yeah, I enjoyed the first one better than the second one. Not that the second one was worse or any less good in any way. It's just all the stuff that happened in the first one, I enjoyed watching all that more than watching the stuff that happened in the second film. The CGI, that's not even something I had to discuss, really. The CGI, for me, felt perfect in this film. There are some certain films, certain companies, they could just pull off CGI 100% great, and that's how it was for this film, for uh, the dinosaurs, the exploding volcano, the magma. It, all I had no issues with the CGI whatsoever, so that's not even something I had to discuss. The moment with Owen and Blue, that almost got me. Those who have seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. The moment where uh, the girl was watching the video of um, Owen and Baby Blue, and then Owen was watching, you know, uh, Grown Up Blue uh, having the blood from the uh, T-Rex, I think, being put into her. Not enough to make me cry. Not Definitely not. Um... But yeah, that was a, a touching moment, and what was, I don't remember the name of this dinosaur, and it was like the, I guess, antagonist dinosaur, you could say, Vel, I don't even know the name, you guys know which one I'm talking about if you've seen the film, uh, I thought that was pretty cool, basically, basically the ultimate, uh, the ultimate militaristic weapon dinosaur and blue was needed because blue has you know uh the obedience factor and everything the factor to uh follow commands and stuff so like i said it was it was a really well written well thought out plot for a fifth film or second film whichever one you want to call it the film had a very good like i said this film uh I feel this film stayed afloat with the first Jurassic World film in terms of engagement and keeping you interested in the film. This film had, um, this film also had, just like the first one, this one had a very good climax, in my opinion, them on the roof in blue, uh, fighting the antagonist dinosaur, I don't remember the name of it, so that's what I'm going to call it, uh, on the roof in the way that it died. I thought it was a very good climax. I enjoyed it very much. Um, I was honestly, I, w I didn't think that the, I don't even know her name, the main girl. I didn't think she would die, but when she had her leg punctured by the claw of that antagonist dinosaur, I was like, wow. I, I, 
I was like, I don't think she'll die, though, um, because it seems that now in this era, uh, films or companies, writers, they're kind of more hesitant to kill off characters than they were back then. It, it feels, it kind of feels like that to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't think she was going to die or anything, but it was a good climax. And this is what kind of, I want to say this is what got me upset. Because I don't know if you got, I'm on the fence about this. When the girl released the dinosaurs. Okay. Now, hear me out. Okay. The main girl, she didn't even do it. She was, she, she it's, it's like, okay, let's see what everything that has happened since these dinosaurs have first been brought back from extinction. Look at everything that's happened. Right here, it could either end it all, or either there could be no turning back. She knew that, and so she didn't press the button. And as sad as it, it would have been, it would have... It, it would have all been over with. But then the girl pushed the button and let them all go into the free, open, civilized population. Because she was like, because they're, they're alive just like me. And like I said, I'm, I'm not saying I'm upset with her because I'm confused of how I, of how I feel about this right now. One side of me says... Well, this could have all been over with. Another side says, well, they, even though they are an intense, very, very dangerous species, they are still a species of living creatures that are alive. See, that's my moralistic side gnawing at my other side. Yeah. Um... So even though I'm still on the fence about it, I think it's still. I thought it was still very cool though at the very end, seeing how like Malcolm was saying, "Well, now, now the din all the dinosaurs are released in our civilized, populated world. So now we have to learn to live among them. We have to learn to adapt in a in a population." that has dinosaurs among us. You know, I thought that was very cool, and also it leaves the door open for a third Jurassic World film. You know, like, it didn't necessarily tie the knot or close the door, you know, to the franchise. It And it wasn't saying that we have to have a third film either, you know? Like, it was... It just left the door open, which I thought was very cool. So, I really did enjoy the end. I enjoyed the climax. I enjoyed the film all the way through. Like I said, I'm just still on the fence about the girl and what she was doing. I thought, uh, again, I thought it was very, the plot uh, was pretty strong, held up, well written, well thought out. So, other than that, I really don't have anything else to say, except I enjoyed this film almost just as much as I enjoyed the third film. Now, what would I say is my favorite out of all the Jurassic films? It would either be... It would either be the first Jurassic World, I mean, it would either be the first Jurassic Park, either the third Jurassic Park, or either the first Jurassic World. Those three, I, those three are my favorites. I enjoy them very, very much. Um, but, uh, in rating, I don't really have a rating for it, but if you were just to walk up on the street and ask me, I guess I'd give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10, 7.6 out of 10. Um, 7.6 out of 10. Um, let me know if you guys will, yeah, you should have seen it if you're watching this review, because, uh, I didn't put no spoiler warning or anything. This was just a review, so spoilers. Yeah, see the film if you haven't, which, if you're this far in the video, you've been spoiled pretty much for almost everything. Um, but let me know what you guys thought of the film for those who have seen the film let me know what you thought of the film this was my review for the film if you enjoyed let me know what you thought links are on my social media will be down below in the description box matt smash the like button share this video with anyone you feel would enjoy if you are new around here and you like what you see tap the subscribe button and ding down the notification bell to join the mad alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers
My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. Hope y'all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.